Hello. Hello. Dorcas, can you tell me um, who you are and where you work for? Yes, I'm called Dorcas Atieno Musubaho. I work as the Diocese and Health Coordinator, Diocese of Ginger, which is based in the eastern part of Uganda. Um, what kind of problems do you face uh, in your job? Before that, probably I could tell you my roles as the Diocese and Health Coordinator. One of them is actually planning and then advocacy and lobbying for the health facilities of the diocese. I also do a lot of um, capacity building, especially for the health facility staff and the hospitals as well. And also we do a lot of uh, support supervision, follow-up and data audits, because without data you cannot do much. But of course it goes with the problems, as you have asked me, we face some challenges. One is the lack, actually when you go to the community level, the, there is gap, the knowledge gap in health information. Also a lot of disease burden, as you know, Africa, 80% of the diseases that are really being faced could be preventable. So that is still a problem. And more so to do with maternal and health care for the children. And at the facility level, we have problems to do with the staff development, because right now it is only 60% of the staff, okay, we could want 100% to be, but right now it is like 60%. So that also affects the quality when you match the staff and the load, like the minimum healthcare package, it has a number of things to be done, but with that staffing, at times some other things could not be done. Number two is the infrastructure development, and in this case, we mean the equipment, the medicines, especially stockouts. We mean the dilapidated buildings that could, mean, could need renovation in this case. Water supply, uh, electricity supply, probably with the panels, solar panels to improve that case. And also at coordination level, we have problems with transport because to be able to monitor and to follow up, you need transport, like a vehicle. But that transport is not only limited to the coordination, but as well as the health facilities, like in follow up, the patients like at community level, carrying out outreaches, and also refer of mothers who are in critical condition. So, and in the um, Connect for Change program, you're going to work together with Cordes? Yes. And what kind of project ideas do you have to, uh, to tackle these problems? Thank you very much, actually. We are very grateful to Cordes that it has been supporting us in a new program in Uganda, and I think in Africa at large, and it's called performance-based financing. So in the performance-based financing, I think the text to change will really greatly help. One, in information collection, data collection, and analysis of the data, and eventually sharing or disseminating the data. And also we usually carry out um, patient satisfaction surveys, where we can use the text messages, we can use the teleconference, we can dialogue with the community. So I think there the text to change can greatly help us. And what other ideas do you have? Well, other ideas that I have is now to expand the program because it is quite effective in what we have done because it is unlike the traditional programs whereby it is input-based in performance-based financing, it is output-based. What we mean that you must come up in, with indicators which are well shared with all stakeholders and then the targets. So when you meet the targets, a fund is given to you, but when you don't meet it, there is no pay. So I think and I believe that free health care is no health care for the poor and poor health care for the rich, which system has been promoted in Uganda by the government, but it is high time they changed. And that is why we want to do a pilot program or performance-based financing, ex extending it to the government facilities, especially in the Soga region. And we, we, we plan to try with a few and see how it works so that later on we can lobby at the ministry level to still improve the services. 
Thank you very much. Thank you too. I'm very grateful to have met you.